Hello, welcome to Linux tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about password command in Linux. Many of them know password command is only used to assign the password per user, but that is wrong. Password command is have many options. It will be display the status of the user and it will be used to lock or unlock the password. And also you can check the expire uh, of the status of the user. So this kind of option is available that we going to discuss each and every option one by one. First thing before you are assigning the password, first check the what are the user available in your machine. Go to home directory. Yes, see four users available user 1 user 2 user y and user x available in your machine or you can check the user by using etc password here four user will be available here you can check by this this method also in file file method also so first thing we are going to assign the user password for the users by using password user1 I am going to assign password for user1 again retype the password so after assigning password the updated doc will solve password will be successfully message will be shown here after that we are going to check the status of this user1 by using iPhone capital S then press enter here shown the status of this user1 first one is username second one is will be status which means your password will be assigned or not this user will be locked or unlocked that kind of details in here this in this option will be discussed later this is the current date and all other option will be going to see in later so this is the basic to assign the password for user by using password command so next thing I am going to remove the user password for user using password iPhone D enter your username user I am going to enter your user 3 here removing password for user 3 will be successful message will be shown here if we want to verify this uh, password removal for user 3 you are going to check by using password iphone s user 3 yes see np np means no password so this is the modification will be changing here for this and also the file for this one is encrypted because no password is there empty password so you can check another user using iPhone yes user 1 yes see the difference between these two user here password will be assigned and also password file will be created in encrypted format here see password will be removed so no password is here so the password file will be empty so this is the due difference so this is the way to remove the password by using password option D next option to expire the user password immediately that how means same password iPhone E enter your user I'm going to use user number 5 again enter now here expiring for user 5 success 
password for next variant will be success now again if you want to verify means go to status by using iphone s yes. now check here see the expired date will be current date and expired date will be modified here so password will be expired if you want to confirm your password ex is uh, expired or not that how means go to your remote machine from my remote machine i am going to take ssh for user file on my local machine so after entering ssh enter it will ask password now i enter the password here see our password warning will be shown because our password will be expired so that's that's why it will be showing like this again if you go to the local machine and uh, set the password for user 5 minutes it will be work properly otherwise it will be not work so now i'm going to set the password user 5 again enter enter i'm going to set password again set, set password i'm going to check the status of the user 5 now the password will be assigned so current date will be changed the expire will be removed again go to local remote machine again take the ssh for this user file enter again press 1 so the user file will be successfully logged in so you can use, uh, use this user so this is the way to expire the password and again change the password for this user next option we are going to see lock and unlock the user password that how means first enter password iphone l enter your user name we need to enter user 5 enter here password will be successfully locked if you want to verify this message means this uh, status means go to password status and enter here see lk lk means lock this password will be locked so now if uh, we are going to unlock the password that how means you saying iphone u iphone u iphone u and f enter here password will be successfully unlocked so these are the method to lock and unlock the user password the next option is going to inactive days for user which means i am going to disable the user for certain days and how means by using password iphone i and uh, enter the number of days i'm going to enter five days and enter your user name this command explanation of what this command is i for uh, inactive is five for inactive days which means you're going to disable the user 3 for 5 days so after this entering means then press enter here see adjusting aging data for user 3 is shown here and also success measure results shown now going to see the status of the user 3 enter yes see 5 is there which means five days this user will be disabled your enter file will be here so this is the way to inactivate the user the next option is set the minimum days to change password by using 
password iphone n uh, t that's your option and user name this command is used to set the minimum days to change the password for the user by using this n option and you should enter the number of days how many days if you want or you need and your username after giving this command enter again the success message will be shown now you go to again status iPhone S user 5 here 30 you are assigned a 30 value will be shown here for user 5 will be change the password at every 30 days or, or password changing days so this is the way to set the minimum days to change the password the next option is to set warning days before password expire that how means password hyphen w 10 or 15 i user 1 so this is warning message suppose if, if your password is going to expire means this 15 days before will be intimated by using iPhone W plus 15 is a days how many days if you need you can enter here and your username now press enter here again success message will be shown here now again go to the status of user 1 now enter here 15 is shown here this is the warning days for password have expired so that's all about password command i think this command this video will be helpful for you let me see you on another video thank you